Amazon. <laughs> um, we just finished the echocardiogram, but we won't see how things went until probably Monday, hopefully Monday. Um, I hope today, but that's doubtful. But um, because the the blood tests, at least the ones besides the one that they haven't gotten the results for yet, um, show that there was nothing really abnormal going on. I'm hoping that that this echocardiogram does show something. But on the um, last blood test. Uh, yeah, and the last blood test results. The last blood test will tell us if it's ischemia or not. Right now, it's just telling us that there's no blood clots. But I'm hoping it's ischemia. Um, and I think that it is. I, I'm pretty sure because it burns inside sometimes. And my uncle, who's a paramedic, um, he said that when it burns that badly um, on the inside like that, that it's probably ischemia. Apparently yeah. there's lots and lots of different types of heart diseases. Yeah. And now they just have to figure out which one she has. Yeah, but, you know, it's hard to diagnose me. It's very hard. It's very difficult for it, for the doctors to know what's going on with me at any time. From, from when I was two years old up until 27. I mean, it's nonstop chaos with you know, undiagnosed things that are going on in my body. For example, the knee, that still is is not diagnosed for anything whatsoever. In fact, nobody's doing anything about the knee, although the knee could be connected to the heart. It, that's what we're thinking, but, you know, nothing is really... It's stone not really... Paper. Yeah, exactly. It's not... It's assumptions. Exactly. Sometimes logical assumptions, but mostly assumptions. Mostly assumptions. It's not, you know, Arthur's sword stuck, you know, in the stone. And so, I like that. <laughs> Anyways, um, when I did last Sunday, Easter Sunday, when um, Tigger came over, which is one of my friends, and also... She was my caregiver for six years, um, and she's with my cousin. They're, they're together. Um, we were playing with her oracle cards, her, her mermaid oracle cards, and it said that I, as long as I let everything go and I don't have any worries, then pretty much I'm set to go ahead with with crossing over. Now, for me, I don't I'm not having any doubts. I let everything go. I'm not worried about everybody and what they're doing or thinking about my death and how they're going to react. I'm not doing that anymore. I've let you guys go. Sorry, but you're no longer <laughs> you're no longer a part of that. And I think you guys would probably be excited because then I can go on with my life on the other side. And um, anyways, I, I do believe that, um, that reading, I do, because it said things that really, that really spoke to my spirit. And I've done other readings just to play, just to play around with some other people's um their oracle cards that i i don't want to mention because i don't think they want anyone to know they have them but i did it just just to see just because i wanted to see how theirs would pan out the answer would pan out with theirs and it, basically it was the same thing um just you know said in a different way because they're different oracle cards but also, I'm getting different signs from the fact that I'm having auditory hallucinations, and when I hear things, um, hallucinations during the night, um, I, I don't really think it's hallucination. 
That's usually when my fairies are jumping all over me. You can believe me or not about that. But, um, they do. And as long as you don't believe in, it, in them, you're not going to experience seeing or feeling them. Or if you do, you're really going to be surprised like my dad was when he saw one. Um, he doesn't believe in them until one day, boom, right in front of his face. And uh, it's, I think that they're giving me signs and that's what I love about them. They're guides. I have my, my guardians with angels because, you know, a lot of people believe in angels. So they're like, we're not fairies. They're all here to protect us and to help us along in life and learn our lessons. And that's what I believe. And so I'm going to end here. Oh, and also, Enos, with um, answering your question, with my depression, it just kind of went away. It just kind of lifted off of me one day when I decided that I didn't want to live anymore. And I think it's because I accepted everything in my life. When you accept everything in your life and you learn to go on, and, and just live for the day. Yeah, uh, yeah. You live for the moment. You live for the time that you're in. You don't think about tomorrow or yesterday or whatever. Or, this or how person you're going to get through the rest person. of your life with the problem that you're having at the moment. And yeah, everything is going to work out. Um, you just have to accept life, and I think that's the accepting is how you're going to get through life. Um, so when I did that, it was lifted right off of me. And that's the only way I can stay out of the depression. Because when I, whenever I'm emotional, that um, with Crystal crying on her shoulder or, or whatever in her arms, <laughs> um, it's because I'm thinking of the future and I shouldn't be doing that. It's about now, what's going on now. People who are enlightened and who can get through life, um, you know, like Jesus, like Buddha and things like that, they were enlightened and they lived for the moment, not for tomorrow or two years from now or whatever. And it's hard for us to do, but that's how some people get, very few people are enlightened. And I'm going to be enlightened that way, just not in this life, in the next. So, um, um, I guess that's all I have to say for now. Um, I guess I'll see you guys some other time. I'm not really feeling well after um, he messed with me and put everything on my heart. It doesn't feel good. So, I love you all. You probably won't hear from me for a while. Um, Shay, you guys can visit me, but not whole parties at once. Love you guys. Bye. Ciao.